Fighting out of the blue corner, introducing the challenger. He's an MMA fighter, fighting out of Bali MMA by way of Adelaide. Trained by Mike Eagerly, he is a judo black belt, weighing in at 76.8 kilograms. With a fight record, six fights for four wins, ladies and gentlemen, Luke Howard. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, introducing the champion. He is an MMA fighter, fighting out of the MMA clinic by way of Perth, Western Australia. Trained by Ben Vickers. He is the current reign and eternal welterweight champion, weighing in at 76.8 kilograms, with a fight record of six fights for four wins. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Dillon! <laughs> Fighters to center of the cage for your final instructions. This fight will be refereed by Diogo Tassoni. Both have strong grappling pedigrees. Luke, a judo black belt. Jack Della with amazing wrestling. They both look like they're in insane shape. Not an ounce of fat on them, but they're both big welterweights. These will be three five-minute rounds, so we've gone away from the three threes. Straight right from Luke to start out. Jack feeling out, big body kick. Nice body kick. Inside leg kick from Luke. Just feeling each other out right now. Oh, nice left hand from Jack there. Good combination. Big elbow from Jack. Elbows are allowed. It is a pro fight. Luke sort of looked to engage the clinch there, but sort of thought better of it, I think. Oh, head kick from Jack. Welt on the right side of Jack's body uh, from one of those Luke Howard body kicks. It looks as if Luke's got one right above that tattoo as well. Um, they both exchanged a couple of the kicks. So. Luke is Australian, but he does train at Bali MMA. Amazing camp out there in Bali. Oh, Jack caught him with a nice elbow there. but Luke fired back. He's game. Oh, oh spinning, spinning back, back elbow. Back Luke's got double unders here. He's looking to take Jack down against the cage right in front of us here. Jack has some of the strongest hips I've ever felt. But Luke's got him up. And Jack defends perfectly. Another Jack's elbow attempt elbow. from Jack. He's really looking for those elbows in close. Ooh, Ooh, nice bleak, kick to the top of the knee. A bleak kick. Might have hurt. Luke might be hurt there. That buck with his knee. He seems to have recovered fine. He's smiling in there. He's having fun. He's enjoying being in there with the chair. Oh, nice straight jab. Uh, left hand by Jack there, sorry. Luke smiles at him. Two minutes down. Body kick again. And Jack looking to grab that left body kick. Nice little hook to the body there by Jack as well. And rip the straight down the middle. Another head oh, kick. Another head another... kick and a left hand. Luke happy looking for those body kicks. Again, Jack with the teep. And back to the leg. Luke is the taller fighter here. So he's using that range, jabbing, getting the range. Good left, right hand. And again. Oh, a nice body shot from Jack there. And then he looked for a knee, but I don't think it quite connected. Luke staying the clinch, some dirty boxing by Jack. Good clinch control. Body kick again. And Luke tries to return. These longer five minutes rounds, you can see. Big left hand. Oh, another nice left right Luke's hand. starting to show on his face a bit of a few of these shots. Crowd loving this fight. They're wooing in the background. Jack keeps coming forward, looking to cut off that cage. 
But Luke, Luke shooting for the takedown. He's got double unders. Jack reverses. He's got a strong... Luke's got his hands clasped together. Can he get Jack up? Jack's looking pretty comfortable there. You know, chilled out, listened to his corner. Luke would have been in this position a thousand times, being a judo black belt. And he's got oh, Jack he down. he's got the takedown there. And he's got J Jack turtled. Jack's back to his feet. No knees. He's got one hand on the ground. No knees to the head from here. Jack looking to reverse the takedown now. He's looking to grab Luke's leg. Kimura attempt from Jack. Jack's got very, very good Kimura. He's very, very strong. So Luke would want to be careful He's got here. his hands glass. Luke's looking to take him down. Well done. Reverse. Jack spins and ends up on top. And passes the guard straight away. Straight Luke's to mount. Straight to mount. Luke's he's looking to cage call up to sort of twist himself over. And he which has. Is, which he's done well. Well done there from Luke to get out of skate the mount. Jack looking for a guillotine. He's very strong from here. He's looking for a guillotine. He's under the neck. Can he clasp his hands together to finish? 30 seconds. Jack just sort of content to just chill out there. Luke with a massive slam. Jack still has the neck. He's looking to hit back in. He's in half guard, 10 seconds left. Luke doesn't look too worried here, I don't. He would have been here a thousand times in training. Yeah, absolutely. And we're back for round two. Three fives in this welterweight title fight. Very close, even first round. A few takedowns for Luke, a few significant strikes for Jack. Diego Consoni, our referee, the UOJ black belt. We'll see if maybe the corners have told him anything here to focus on. Maybe the corners have seen something in the fight has happened. Luke just landed a, a nice leg kick that made Jack smile. And Jack has landed, Jack landed two really nice straight punches Oh, he's there. opening up here. He's starting to talk to Luke now. He's starting to feel comfortable. Luke is tough, man. Nice oh, shot big shot. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. He's out. He's, he's out, out cold. cold. Tony stops the action at 4 minutes 32 seconds into round number 2 for your winner by KO and still the eternal welterweight champion